Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com. This is a long overdue video. I've been doing this uh, YouTube channel now for several years, and at the end of every year, I let you viewers know what were my top 10 beer reviews for that year. We're now midway into 2019, and I'm just now getting to my 2019 list. Um, so several of the beers on this list, I, I know for a fact, are no longer available. Um, they were limited releases, but um, most of those, most of those, not all of them, are beers that release out once a year, and I'll explain that as I go on. I've done this differently multiple times. Uh, what I like to do, ideally, is have the cans and the bottles lined up and show them to you. Uh, one year I took um, uh, snapshots off their websites and I printed it off like a piece of paper. So this year, uh, we're going totally digital. Uh, let me get to... I go from I always go from ten down. So and it's it's a really hard decision to be honest. Um, I mean this is one of those where um, I the probably five through one through five are pretty easy, and then six through ten I probably have twenty beers that I could put in that list. But um, so what I'll do is I'll show you the picture. Um, so starting in at number ten is the Puff Six Point Brewery Cloudy IPA. Um, this one. I was shocked how good it was. It was, they come in these, look, the little skinny cans um, in four packs and they, they were not cheap at all. And this one had just a balance to it. It was fresh hops. I bought it several times. Again, at a price point, it was high. It was like, let's say like $17 for the four pack. It was no joke, but it was just an extremely good beer. I'm very particular about my IPAs. And this is one that really stood out. So that's the uh, Puff by Six Point. Coming in at number nine, this one, this one I've never found again. Um, it's called the Admiral. It's a double IPA from Brothers Craft Brewing. If you can see that picture. I bought this um, in Virginia. Um, it's got a cool story behind it, um, linking them, I believe, to the military. Um, and they got uh, out of the military, wanted to start a craft brewing business. This was a four pack as well. I, this one was, this blew me away. It has Simcoe Centennial, Columbus, Cascade, and Apollo hops. And it was, it just had, again, for an IPA, for a double IPA, it was extremely drinkable. It was just a knockout. I wanted to put this lower on the list. Um, I don't remember what it cost, but it's called the Admiral, and it was awesome. All right, coming in at number eight. This one eked in, but I could not not put this on the list. This is called Last Snow. Um, it, it's from Funky Buddha. It is a uh, porter, coconut, coffee, um, porter. I already said porter. This one was insanely good. Now, you have to like coconut, so it is a coconut coffee porter. It, I, this is another one I can't find right now. Um, it was just insanely smooth. The coconut was perfect as far as what they put in it on the level. Um, it was creamy. It was fresh. It was awesome. It was called Last Snow from Funky Buddha. All right, this one typically makes my list every year. Now, I almost didn't put this one in here, um, but the next one is the old classic KBS. Um, KBS, I remember when it, when it hit the, the shelves, um, you could buy one bottle, and that was it, and it was like $10 a bottle. Now, this, this year, so this is the 2019 version, um, is what it's listed as, excuse me, 18, 18, 18. We're in 19 now, 18. It was, it wasn't like crazy knock you off your socks good, but it is such a complex, well-brewed beer, it's hard not to, to make my top 10. And I know it kind of sounds a little like, well, that doesn't make sense. I mean, it was smooth, the coffee was there. Um, the, the, oak, the oaky bourbon part, I thought was lacking on this one compared to other years. And the price point now, I think you, I think the four pack is like eighteen or nineteen dollars. Um, it's close to twenty, um, but I don't think that, that, that that's that bad. Um, but again, KBS made it. I think it earns its respect. It earns its spot. Um, and it's still way better than a lot of other uh, big beers. All right, next is the Java Cast from Victory Brewing Company. Again, this is another coffee stout, um, coffee bourbon stout. So this one, 
I had zero expectations that I would want to buy this again. It came in a four pack. I think it was like sixteen dollars for the four, four pack. This is another coffee stout that I could drink every single day. It's amazing. It is. It's balanced. Um, there's no booziness to it. It's 14.3% ABV and it drinks like a six. Um, it's got um, a nice, again, a very nice, I thought a much better blend than KBS with the coffee and the bourbon. Um, not too much bourbon, not too much coffee. This one did have more coffee than bourbon, but it was just, um, I went back, found one more four pack and savored those. They were awesome compared to a lot of the other styles. All right, see, let's see where are we at here. We got one, two, three, four, five. All right, all right, on to, I believe, number five. So this is a, the Stone Brewing 22 anniversary. Um, this was their double IPA. Um, if you look, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it'll blow up. They had the big 22 on the, uh, on the bottle and on the six pack holder. This one was killer it was again one of those double ipas where i'm really particular about it but it just it had um the, the blend of hops in this it was amazing it, it was 9.1 percent no booziness extremely clear it was it drank again like a four percenter i mean it, it, the, the alcohol um just it didn't represent like it 9.1 percent would but the ab V, or excuse me, the IBUs at 81 absolutely were there. I mean, it it just had a killer fresh hop flavor that when it's, it was one of those beers that the first one I had, I was like, okay, this is this sets itself apart. This is way better than other IPAs right now. I was able to get more than one six pack, and then they were gone. So again, this is another one I don't think you're gonna be able to to uh, get get. All right, number four. Yeah, number four always makes my list. Every year, I think it just remains the same. It's absolutely one of my best beers ever. It's just the Trogues Nimble Giant comes in a big 16 ounce can and a four pack. It's like $18, 19 for the four pack, worth every single penny. It's a pounding of hop and pininess, and it's just got, again, a smoothness to it, and just a, it, it's got a really interesting characteristic to it of uh, the blend of the hops, the pine, um, there's a little bit of uh, fruitiness in it, but it's it's so o overpowered in a good way by just an insanely hoppy beer. This beer has replaced in my list Enjoy Buy. I don't buy Enjoy Buy anymore. I used to show up at the store the day it dropped off and get my one bomber bottle or two bomber bottles, or whatever. I think that beer's gone way downhill, and this one I think, if you want to compare it to something, blows enjoy by a way just because of again that they changed so much with enjoy by. this beer however has remained consistent and continues to be absolutely awesome number three i buy every year just about every year it's made my list it's from uh anger brewing it is their christmas uh what they call their merry uh merry christmas happy new year uh beer so if you've ever had these beers before they come in huge bottles um yeah, or you can get them in six packs now. Um, every year, the artwork on the Christmas tree has been done by the same uh, gentleman. I don't remember what his name is off the top of my head. I should. Um, but uh, they've been doing this since 1975. And every year, it looks like that. It, it's a dark color. Um, some have some amber hue to them. They, there might be cinnamon or nutmeg or um, chocolate. Um, it, it's a it's a holiday-ish type beer. I always enjoy these beers because it's like Christmas in a bottle and it usually hits the shelves right before Thanksgiving and for whatever reason it's almost like a symbolic push into the holiday season that it's here now it's time to make memories with family and friends and this beer is one of the best beers to do it with um, ABVs I don't have it listed on this one usually are around 8% I believe and again the price point is very very fair all their beers I think from a price point perspective are well priced, but for the quality and the complexity of this one, um, it's just, it knocks stuff out of the park. Um, so again, I always buy this, and I love the stories behind the different trees that are chosen for the artwork, so phenomenal marketing. Number two, number two is from Founders, and it's their curmudgeon better half. 
this is another darker beer that I think just changes the market when it comes to beers like this. It's um, brewed in molasses, well, excuse me, it has molasses in it, maple syrup in it, and it's brewed in bourbon barrels. Um, the, you're not going to be able to see it on the screen, maybe, but it's got this old couple with a pile of pancakes and maple syrup on it, and it has, again, it, it is such an insane, insanely complex beer. It comes in four packs for like 16 bucks, and it's one of these, it's like, it's dangerous to drink. Um, they, they describe it as deceptively smooth. It is. It's 12.7% ABVs, and it drinks about like a 9%er. So, this one's got a little bit of punch to it, but the sweetness of the maple syrup, the bourbon is subtle, but it's there. It just, it's like a sens sensory party in your mouth. I mean, it is such a good beer. Again, it's one of those that they're dangerous. You drink two of these with that ABV, I mean, that's a lot of alcohol, but it doesn't taste like that. It doesn't sneak up on you like some of the other ones would. It's just smooth. Um, the, I, somewhere on the website, they say it's like harmonious all the different complexities in it. I couldn't agree anymore. It is a awesome beer. If you can find the Promotions Better Half, buy it. Last but not least, number one, yet again, a dark beer. This one almost wasn't number one, but I think it earned it this year. It's the Bourbon County Stout 2018. So in 2018, this was one of those years where Bourbon, or Bourbon, um, Goose Island started experimenting with different versions and flavors and orange, I forget what all of them were, vanilla, I think was one of them. Um, I tried a few of those. This one still, this is what I call the plain one. This is bourbon, bourbon only. It's 15.2 ABVs, 60 IBUs, and it is without a doubt, in my opinion, I had to say, I think about that. I can't think of a better stout that if I said, I'm only gonna be able to drink one more stout for the rest of my life, or only stouts for the rest of my life, this would be what I would choose, at least up until this point. It just, it's so complex. There's plum flavors in there. There's cherry flavors in there. The malt is perfect. It pours insanely nice in a glass. I mean, it's one of those you just want to sit and look at it in the glass and just keep smelling it, because the longer it, it gets aerated, the, the better it smells. Um, in our area, they sold them in, in these bottles for $9 a bottle. And I remember when it was a lot higher, but what I, again, this is another great example. I remember when these hit the shelves, and if you weren't there the same day, you didn't get one that year. Um, this year, sadly, this beer sat at one of our bottle shops for close to five months. Now they got like 10 cases, which I had never seen before. But at the same time, it did not fly off the shelves. Um, very similar to sexual chocolate. Um, that was another one, just flew off the shelves. And half the time, you'd show up and they're like, uh, we got here an hour ago and they're gone. So again, I, I don't, I'm not saying it's an end of an era for bourbon, this bourbon stout, but at the same time, I mean, they have done so many things right. It's a killer beer. The price point, I think, is almost robbing them. And it earned the number one spot on my 2018 list. So. That was fun for me, a little bit of reminiscing. Um, several of those, again, if you can find them, I, all of them, I highly recommend you rip off the shelf, take, a, take it home and, uh, and enjoy the, uh, the uh, fruit of the nectar um, from the beer god. So as always, we appreciate you watching. Uh, we upload all the time. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.